Hey guys and girls, wanted to share with you a, a little uh, achievement I unlocked in a sense. Um, I want to share with you the ability to update your Prusa i3 Mark II firmware and have an unlocked version in the sense that um, you'll be able to compile it, make changes to it yourself, and upload it through the Arduino IDE. First, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a uh, Arduino IDE software. You'll just take a minute, copy this URL, head on over here, and download, depending on your operating system. I'm running Windows, so I'm using the Windows installer. Download that and install it to your computer. You've got it for Mac, Linux, and uh, Windows. It's going to have a few proprietary drivers along the way during the installation. Just answer yes to those to make sure that uh, Arduino will be able to communicate with your computer and through your COM ports to your printer. You'll also need a file or a URL to a file to add to your boards manager within Arduino. This is just a URL that you'll copy and paste and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. It's also going to be a set of files that you're going to download that I've already configured that I've had success with and you should be able to also. They'll be in a zip file and available in the link below to download which will include all the Arduino add-ons necessary and the firmware for the Prusa i3 Mark II. This is the latest from Prusa. It's in an uncompiled version for Marlin that you'll be able to access through Arduino and make changes to manually and then upload to your Mark II through the Arduino IDE interface. So we're going to have a look real quick in Arduino IDE. To access, I've already got open before me, but I'm going to show you how to do this yourself. To access the files, the firmware files, through the Arduino IDE, simply go to File, Open, and you're going to browse to the folder where you have these files. You're going to look for one in here called Firmware. It may or may not have a different icon, just depending on how your computer is configured, but one's called Firmware. Click Open. And you'll get all these different tabs with all these different files um, that are applicable to the flashing and writing of this firmware. Main one is going to be Configuration H and a Configuration Prusa. This is one that uh, I've changed because it requires it, but it's not available in the form that you download off the internet. But it is, however, available in the form that you'll download from the link I'll provide to you. Because I've already gone through the time to make all this, it's all ready to simply open and flash once you're able to connect to your printer. But before you do that, you're going to need, Arduino is going to need a way to know how to connect to your Rambo board on your Mark II. So with that, we're going to use this address, this URL. You're going to copy this. And we're going to open up under um, File, Preferences. There's a tab called Settings. And we'll need to add that to that URL that we just copied to the additional boards manager URL right here. I've already done it. You'll just paste it here and then answer OK. Once you've done that, you're going to go to Tools, Board, Board Manager. Click that and it's going to bring up this interface where you will actually, at this point, because you've just installed that URL under your preferences, you're going to type in Rambo. And it will then present you with this. Because I've already installed it, I can't install it. I could only under, I can only remove it. But because you've not yet, you'll have an option to install it. So you want to install this so that your Arduino interface can communicate with your Rambo board. Once you've done that, click close. All right. Now we're also going to need to go under tools and under your board. You're going to want to pick now that we've just went through the previous step of the Rambo board, and you'll see that I, mine's already selected. Of course, I've already selected it because I've I've gone through this procedure. You probably won't have your selected by default, but if you do or don't, you'll want to make sure that Rambo is selected. Now, the next step is we're going to need to communicate with from here through a COM port or USB port to our printer. So make sure that you've got your printer powered on. You've got a USB cable plugged into the top of the Rambo board. Uh, via the ramp where you see on the back left there's it's covered in the black case depending and then you've got a USB port and then follow that on into your computer once you've done that you're going to need to tell Arduino IDE which COM port to connect on now sometimes that's kind of confusing 
But uh, generally, um, if you open up a program called Pronterface, I'll open that up real quick. It will show you your COM port that it's connected to and your baud rate. So if, for example, I connect, you'll see that I've connected to my Mark II and it's giving me some generic information about what it's found and discovered when it's made that connection. But keep in mind, you can only be connected at one uh, interface at a time. So I, if I can't connect through Arduino if I'm connected in Pronterface. So I need to make sure I disconnect. But before I do that, make sure I make note of my port and my baud rate. So I'm on COM4 and a baud rate of 115200. So I'm going to disconnect. And then we'll go back to Arduino. And under Tools, we've got a neat little tool that will, it's called a Serial Monitor. If we pull that up, it will by default try and connect to our printer. And you see that it has. And this is basically because that uh, port was still open for my printer face. But what I can do is go under Tools and here pick my COM port. All right, COM4. And if I needed to go under my serial monitor again, here's where I could change my baud rate. Okay, to pick the correct baud rate. Now, something else I want to do is if I want to make changes to my um, firmware, all this can be done in these various files that are open. Some of it will make sense, some of it will not, uh, but there's a lot of information about Marlin Online that you can find ways to add different features, um, change and edit different features, um, uh, comment out or prohibit the use of features. Now I've made a change to the firmware where I've simply added an underscore UL to just indicate that it's unlocked. You'll be able to see that on your LED dis display once you flash this if you scroll all the way to the bottom under support under the firmware version you'll be able to read 3.0.1.0 underscore UL for unlocked. Um, you can go through here read about it you can screw your machine up uh, and you can also enhance it greatly and then worst comes to worst you can download the uh, default firmware that's on that's locked from Prusa and just reflash with that and then maybe give it a, a, a try again. Lots of settings in here. I've met, edited this already and added a, uh, a preheat feature. You know how you've got ABS or PLA or flex in your machine where you can preheat uh, filament and bed temperatures. Well, I've added a nylon to that. You'll see that at the bottom of the, at the list. But you can add those types of features with this. You can enable chit chat. You can enable uh, the be able to uh, modify your EPROM settings and all that. So it's unlocked completely for your enjoyment. Now, once we're done and we've made any changes, we're going to want to flash this by clicking Upload. You can verify it. I would always suggest that you verify it first. It can be a, a minute or two process. You'll get feedback in this window. You'll also get um, the status bar here. At times, it may seem as if it's frozen, but you can see right now it's compiling the sketch and it's done compiling. And let's go ahead and try to upload this. Again, it compiles it first. It always compiles that first. Any changes that we make, we will always want to upload it and save it. Now, see, if I upload this, it will upload it to the Mark II simply and make the changes there physically. But the files that we're working with, any text changes that we've made won't be saved unless we went under File, Save. So you always want to save your work. You want to save any edits that you've made. And then you want to also upload those changes to your printer. And I'll show you um, what at the end of this video where I've gone in and uh, where you can look under the um, support information at the bottom screen if you scroll down your LED window and get an idea uh, that you've successfully flashed it as well. I'll show you. Go ahead and show you that um, edited uh, or added where I added a nylon. Uh, preheat temperature to the uh, filament settings. Alright, so we were uploading. It's done. And it was successful. Didn't get any error messages. You, like I said, you'll always get feedback here for error messages. Alright, so now what we're going to take a look at is the at new filament that we've added. And you can see here that I've added a nylon with a temperature and bed temperature here. 
And if we go back and then we scroll all the way down under support, you'll see where we've got the UL added to the firmware version just to indicate that it's unlocked. So I hope this helps you guys and gals out there. And I know for me, I struggled with it for a while. It was difficult to do it. But once I finally got it, I figured, hey, well, I better save all this uh, in a, a usable configuration and make available because a lot of people out there are veterans at um, uh, flashing and especially use of Marlin, but we're having troubles uh, putting this all together for the Mark II. And uh, there's a lot of features that you can enable uh, and enhance your, your printing, you know, different like Z offsets or, um, you know, if you wanted to print on glass, you can build that profile in so that it automatically adjusts it where it... Uh, you maybe can skip mesh bed leveling or just there's just endless what you can do with this but keep in mind you can you can screw up your firmware uh but the good thing is you can always just go back to the default uh, from prusa and then start back over with the uh you know an attempt at this it is safe um, just don't mess with any of the temperature settings as far as uh thermal runaways and go and you'll be fine all right guys talk to you later Bye bye